Hello and welcome back. So last time I said I was gonna mine and I mined everything in here so we don't have to do that while you're watching now. So we're just heading out and I guess we just need to get up there. I mean we have stairs so that's fine. And I was thinking I think we should be making more outposts when we visit these planets. Okay, we're over encumbered. But we should be fine, right? And where is Sarah right now? She kinda just vanished. Which is odd, but okay. For now, that's gonna have to be the way it is. Maybe she's at the entrance and she'll talk to us or something. Okay, can we... Oh, there's things here we haven't looked at. Okay, I'll take this. You know, when we're over encumbered, the first thing I do is, of course, pick up more stuff, you know. Is this a completely new location now? have been here, right? Yeah, yeah, we've been here, yeah. I was just getting a bit confused for a second. Which does happen. So we want to get back up here. So no convenient exit tunnel to the entrance like in every Skyrim dungeon on this one at least not that I could find but it's fine okay running out of oxygen oh hello oh what is this oh there's Sarah all of a sudden I'll take that Got something for me? Would you... Feel free to drop... So what's her... Well... This is her inventory. And this is mine. No, this is the front... This is the frontier. Can we take things from the ship? No, this is Sarah. Apparently we can take things from the ship here, it looks like. What if we switch to the ship now? Take all resources. No, we want to store. But we can't do that. Um, because now we're at inventory, right? And that's... Oh no, it says the name of the next thing instead of the thing we're at. That was kind of... Yeah, this is what we're actually carrying. Okay, anything here? Lead. We're kind of way over. We kind of don't want to throw any of this away. Maybe another time. Oh well, the ship should be... Well, I'm hoping it's sort of close anyway. Okay, let's see. With any luck, maybe we can find a vein of platinum or neodymium. Anything to make this trip worthwhile. Oh, you mean finding the 
fucking rare artifact you're dedicating your life to wasn't making it worthwhile. But yeah, I was actually thinking we should make more outposts. But first, let's just store things. And can we scan this? We've already scanned it, okay. So if we now... I guess we need to be in the ship, right? Hunting crab, okay, we can check that out. Is there an access to the storage from here? Nope. Okay, let's get... Let's get in there. Okay, she wants to talk again. But first, let's... Okay, because now we are in the ship inventory. So now... Store all resources. Oh, max capacity now. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. 130. Okay, so that means we need to start storing it somewhere else. But let's head out. Let's make an outpost. We haven't scanned this thing completely. Okay, so that thing's defensive, it says. So we should avoid picking up too much new- oh, hello. You're freaking out. Yep, let's kill it. Get away from me. Oops. Did it get burned by the ship thrusters? Okay, well we want the base close to close to the landing site, that's for sure. Oh no, there's another one. Try to not hit Sarah. Okay, we're almost leveling up again, which is great. Okay, well, let's check out this thing here. Beast Hunter's Navigation Pack. Okay, well, I'm thinking... Let's just have a look for a decent location here. I mean, this might as well do. If we get down in the territory here. This works, okay. So, outpost. Okay, for some reason that's not working. Do I need to get further away from the ship to make it work, or what's the deal? Or is it that we're too close to that location? Because we could just... Um, if we go surface map... And then let's see, we have three locations... If we go, if we go here, so what if we, what if we build an outpost? Let's look, we have another biome up here. So could we build one on the edge of a biome? Is 
So this is... You can see the different... It's lead, copper. I don't think we've gotten copper. Like... Water. Have we have gotten copper anywhere? I'm not really sure. But if we build something on the edge here, maybe we can go between them. I'm not really sure if it's going to work that way, but we can try. We should have a talk when you have the time, of course. Okay, let's do what it. Can I help you with? Remember our last conversation when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Yep. Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Never discussed your predecessor really? before. I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. I feel like we're making good memories of our own. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Being paired with the boss must have been quite an honor. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Arja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Uh, I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. So I've noticed. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Arja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Mm, is she dead? No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Yeah, we should do that. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. Hmm. Flirt. I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone Oh right no. Now. You have to do my quest I first. The things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go. Well, I mean, our character, if we're thinking about role-playing, hasn't exactly been a saint either, probably. With the Ronin background. Okay, but this looks like... a potential... outpost location. Let's see here, scan, copper. So, we got a bunch of flat ground here, and we got... some cool-looking ice mountain -y things. So, this is as good a place as any. Let's place this here. A scan booster extends the range of your scanner around your outposts. Hmm. 
didn't know you could build one of those. I can build fucking anything, bro. Or gal. I keep forgetting. Okay, so... Copper extractor. Okay, I'll just put that there. Let's see, what's the thing that she wanted? Furniture and decorations. Powered switch. I'm not sure what that's about. Storage. Missing a lot of resources still. Fabricator. What does that even do? Is there any way to see what that does? Mm, variants. Produces adaptive frame. Oh, produces just things. Okay. We don't have what we need to build it though. We can build a hallway. Build a turret. Okay, well actually we don't have that much we can build with our materials. But we have a thing that's making copper now. So that's something. So this will collect copper for us for later. So I guess we'll head to the lodge and we'll put things in storage. We kind of need to have more storage, that's for sure. But I don't know where the best place to put it would be. Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Okay, well, we'll head back to to uh, what you call it, the lodge. And we have a fair bit of things on this planet. But I feel like we should get some of these main quest things underway. Oops. So, back to system, back to this. Alpha Centauri, do we have enough fuel for this? Hope so. The lodge, and then and we don't have any contraband, as far as I know. This is United Colonies space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And complete. Enjoy your stay in New Atlantis. Okay, the lodge. So. Do we go straight to the lodge right now? Or do we land at the... The whatever. No, oh, we go straight here. Okay, good. What I kind of want is a way to get stuff off the ship and into like some unlimited storage somewhere. I guess maybe the best I thing is to explore the universe. There's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. The best thing might be to just use the materials for something actually. Although that's easier said than done with our current level. Let's see. Okay, we have some of this stuff available. Okay, there we go. Material available. Okay. OK, 
Okay, we're making a lot of stuff already. Okay. Still don't understand the systems exactly. We have this thing available. Because we have them available and then we don't need all of them in order to complete it. Okay, we only have a little bit of those. Okay. What about... Oh, we, that's the one we're lacking. Okay, well we used something there. Industrial workbench. And... Yeah, I don't know if we need to make these things. Are we tracking something specific? Maybe that's the way we need to do it. We need to just... Okay, let's see if we can make something now that we have some new things. So, restores 4 health. The carrying capacity thing could be good though. Although, they're not like... It would be good if they made, gave us more health, like this. 16 health. But we're lacking some of the stuff. I mean I see what you've made there. Hmm, smart. Uh, I guess it is smart. Okay, well we made a thing again. And pharmaceutical lab could be something new here that we can We haven't been using these like buff things yet. We did just finish researching some uh, gun stuff. So we have been using this a fair bit. Internal. We want long range accuracy for most things in my opinion we still don't have neon at the cost of increase accuracy recall control and range Increases aim down sight speed, reload speed, and stability. And we use sealant and titanium for it. Okay, so now we upgraded the gun. Muscle, no mod there. What about. Oh shit, we just went out of the whole menu there. What about this? This thing. That's the one we have been... Oh, this thing looks kind of better, actually. And exterminator. Let's just call it exterminator. Oh, exterminator. Uh, SMG, whatever. And the cutter, we really want that to be better. Okay, let's head up to the room. 
focus, we need to get our storage situation sorted. It's a bit of a mess right now. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but... Okay, so here's our storage, and there's already so much in there. And we can have unlimited stuff in here, so that's good to know. And we cannot take anything from the ship. Which is a bit annoying, but maybe we can figure out some way to do it later. And there's a bunch of stuff here that we probably don't need to be carrying around. Like, I don't know. To begin with, we can probably... We can probably just stash up on stuff first. And then just see if we need them later. Med pack, we want those though. Okay, we have a lot of food. And then we can take a few med packs out like this. And then Let's see, anything here we can take in? Apparel. Could throw that in there. And I think... This seems to be sort of better. I'm not really sure. Nah, I don't think so. Packs. This might be better. But this is better in almost every way. But it does not have a boost pack. So let's equip this, throw that in there. Space suits. Constellation suit. Yeah, that seems to be better than the other ones for now. Calibrate a Rattler. Has more physical damage. But it does not have the corrosive damage thing, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's get rid of it for now. Extended mag, modified maelstorm. We can keep it for now. This can go out though, and that's the thing we accidentally picked up. Throwables. We can throw in a few mines. So now our inventory is a lot better already. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And it would be good if we could get the stuff from the ship back here somehow. That's kind of what I was thinking would be. But that's not showing up there. So is there anything here we can do? Cargo hold. Can't really do anything to them. But I guess there's gonna be some way to do it eventually that's gonna make sort of sense. Okay, let's just heal up here. Sleep an hour. I mean we were out doing speak? stuff. Can I yep. help? Yeah, I guess you were just watching me for some reason. Okay, let's put the artifacts on there. And something's probably gonna happen. And it might get freaky. We like it freaky, okay. 
permanently reduces fall damage. Holy shit. That's good. Okay, here we go. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Hmm. They really are something I catch else. I myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Mm. Dreams without them, science has no meaning, I guess. Exactly. We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Dreams are wonderful, but they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Mm. And for you, I'll be happy to keep, to keep traveling with no you. Objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. Okay, who's with me now? Something you need? Let's see what you've got. Okay, so she is carrying a bunch of stuff. So we're taking that and putting it in storage. Okay. And she's leaving, I think. Okay, she left. For whatever reason. Okay, what's this? Okay, that's nothing of importance at least. Who's back inside? Okay, and then we'll get the resources. Put in here. But now I don't know if we go and build an outpost or something. Can we use. Oh, she's with us now. Does that mean that we can use the things in storage or do we have to bring them on the ship? Like, uh, is that. Well, how does it work, you know? Okay, well, for now, we put it in there, and we're gonna have a f fucking collection of shit in there. Okay, did we put both of the artifacts on when we did that? I assume we did. Yep, okay. Yeah, we are creating something. Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Okay, he's facing in and out of existence. Which is good for you, I guess. Okay, there's some things here we haven't looked at yet. No resources, though. You got a nice little duck. Wooden duck. Can we burn it? I want to burn it. Okay, we can't. Violin. Okay, well. Since we have. I wonder. Since we put all that in storage, would this still show up as available? I 
like some of these things. Let's see, like this. Yeah, and we still don't. Oh, hello. She's freaking out. Okay, is there a tutorial thing for. Yep, okay, so. Let's see. You can transfer transfer resources and cargo between two outposts by creating a cargo link at each location. Okay. Um transfer container. You can easily move cargo between your outpost and ship by building a transfer container. Okay. You can fill the transfer containers like other storage containers as well. Okay, so there is something we can do. Let's just have a look. Workbenches. The necessary materials are shown on the right. Uh, you can keep track of materials you need. Uh, okay. But do the materials have to be in my current inventory or how does that work? Storage, ship storage, is there a thing there? Should be a thing about ships, right? Ship communication. Okay. Maybe they'll show up here eventually. Okay, well, for now, we can leave it. We have really good... Uh, we have a lot of room now in our storage. So let's decide on a mission we should pursue here. We have a few options. And we... Okay, what's... Talk to Vladimir. Grant work. Return to Commander Taula. That should be out here, right? So we completed that mission with the Terramorph. So we should get like a good pay, maybe level up as well. We need some skills leveled up, that's for sure. Maybe some of this crafting stuff we need to just finally get happening. Oops. happen you wouldn't be standing here no lie hell you're welcome to go ask around the marine outposts okay so apparently he spent some time in a place with a lot of terramorphs we definitely don't want to go there yet that's for sure we are not that high of a level yet okay hello did my mission Allergic to bureaucracy. Okay, I'm gonna need a permission to deliver a Terramorph tissue sample. Terror? What? How did you walk away with the Terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Um. Okay. Things didn't go as advertised. Only one alive was a researcher who gave me a sample and a gene tag. A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. 
Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though... Well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Okay. So this might be actually urgent. It seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? Um. She's afraid there could be more attacks. She thinks there could be more of these? This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you. Supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Okay. Leveled up. Okay, well, we're gonna use that skill point next time. So, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.